Hello, this is Paul Barnett, VP and COO of Network Depot. Recently in the DC metro area, we experienced a powerful storm that left many of our clients without power and internet, some for a week or more. This got me thinking. Uh, as business executives, we rarely take the time to consider how we will run our businesses when interruptions like these occur. And today I'd like to help you understand the key differences between disaster recovery and business continuity planning and why it's important to consider all business interruption scenarios. The first big mistake that I see is that many businesses live under the false assumption that if their data is backed up, they are good to go when a problem strikes. Nothing can be further from the truth. Backups are only a small component of a comprehensive disaster recovery and business continuity plan. It's important not just to back up your data, but to have a well thought out plan in place when disaster or interruptions do strike. The first step in preparing for a disaster and outages is to understand the key differences between business continuity and disaster recovery planning. Let's examine the two further. So what is disaster recovery planning? In my book, disaster recovery planning is the simple how-to. In most businesses, this equates to the method of recovering from their backups when a major disaster restrikes. I find that businesses do not thoroughly consider the implications of disaster recovery. They only think about major outages and complete system failures when planning for disaster recovery. So there are several key questions you should ask when planning for disaster recovery. How long will recovering from my backups take? Is it minutes? hours, days, or more? Are secondary devices like firewalls, phone systems, voicemail, etc., and their configurations backed up? What happens if they're destroyed? Devices like firewalls contain configurations for VPNs and have other complex setups that need to be considered when recovering. What happens when there's a total building loss from fire or other catastrophes? Where will you work from? How long can your business afford to be down? How do you work when the building burns down? What kind of restoration capabilities do my backups have? Do they only restore files? Can my servers be restored to their previous state or do they have to be rebuilt from scratch? Can databases and applications be restored correctly to their previous state? What about software licensing for complete system failures? Will I have to buy new licenses? How long does the recovery process take? How does my business run in the meantime while we figure these things out? So what is business continuity planning then? I've heard business continuity described as a state of being more so than a plan. It's the method of considering all possible interruptions to business and contingencies for overcoming them. There is a lot more to business continuity planning than simple disaster recovery plans. Backup and disaster recovery is only a small part of business continuity planning. Imagine being without power or internet for a week, two weeks, or even more. These scenarios are not considered in a typical backup and recovery plan. Business continuity planning considers all possibilities and interruptions to business and ways of dealing with them. Some situations to consider in business continuity planning include power outages, internet outages, phone outages, natural disasters like blizzards, floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, and so on, data corruption, hackers, application failures, cloud service outages, network outages and hardware failure, and quarantine scenarios such as chemical spills, gas leaks, and God forbid terrorist attacks. The moral of this story is a simple one. Planning is important. Your business should consider all possible causes for interruptions and their impact on your business and ways to work around them when necessary. A small bit of planning and forethought now will save you a ton of lost business, money, and headache later. For more information, visit us on the web at www.networkdepot.com or give us a ring at 703-264-7776. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video today.